Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Um, today's list, uh, figured I'd give uh, ST a try uh, before I jump up to pro rank. Um, I will say, if you're going to play ST, I think this is the way to go. I think this list is really hard to pilot. <laughs> and you run out of room really, really fast. Um, the amount of units you get on the board caught me off guard. Um, it has some really good tools and I think it catches people off guard um, if you don't bleed it I feel like if you can I, th I think you could spend a lot of your specials in round one to win and then use like oak and vernacil to win the game in round three because you can fill up your board pretty quick as you'll see in most of these games like the Symbiosis cards start going buck wild. Um, and uh, the Ethne card is really, really good. It's it's a shame that uh, Symbiosis is kind of weak. Because one, this artwork is fantastic. And uh, two, I, I, I really like the archetype. It's something different. Like you swarm by playing specials. Like, I don't know. I, I, I like the idea. It's just It's super slow. Like it's just... It really, it really feels like ramp, but the problem is, is like, there's no, not, I guess it plays around tall stuff, but it plays into, like, um, Hemdall and Wild Boar and stuff, so, and there's no poison, so it's, it's kind of weird to play a SD deck with no poison or harmony, really. I mean, the only harmony units you got are the Half Elf Hunter and the, uh, Young Girl or whatever, um. No, that's not even Harmony. She switches to the uh, other thing, but it's just, it's so different. Um, I don't know. Give it a try. Let me know what you guys think. And I love this Dunka card. Uh, this card's fantastic as well. Uh, but if you're going to play ST, I think this is the way to go. Um, like always, guys, thank you so much. First game, uh, I think it was the second game I played with ST this season, so... Um, I think it's just kind of funny. It's it seems like it's just two people that don't know how to pilot their decks <laughs> uh, Second game, I think I piloted it a lot better um, but uh, You know like always guys Thank you so much. I'll see you at the end The worms You shall die worm. So the ethereal deck how will we stack up? Alright, so we drop, I think we drop the Miner, and maybe the Marauder. Now we need it for the, well the armor doesn't really matter, does it? So we go Half Elf Hunter, Abandoned Girl, oh we ain't winning this round. We ain't winning this round. Um, we still play this, so. Then we go Abandon Girl, we flip it, play the Marauder. We might need these guys to get the Aloran out later. We'll see. So he's got Bruxa too. So he's just wholesome or I'm sorry, Cam. I'll be good now, I promise. So now he plays Another Bruxa. So it's for sure Ethereals. So we flip. We go Marauder.
I think we're gonna need the critters. Really? So he's not spending anything. 15 points. We're gonna need an oak row for, with critters probably. Maybe Vernosial. We could always pull Fav for Nature's Rebuke. Fifteen points isn't a lot. I think we want to keep the Fav, but I don't feel like we. He doesn't have anything in his graveyard yet, though. Let's just play this and see what happens. Oh, I should have played these on this row. So he goes Bargeist. Forty one. Forty points. Twenty points, two cards, too expensive. We spent bronzes. I mean, that's where we're at. Yeah, we spent some bronzes. So did he though. But I mean we got larvas out of them. Those are always good for him. Do the critters do anything when they got consumed? They give us an okro. This we'd like to be buffed so we could hopefully pull, uh, what's his name? Triple Rebuke. I guess that's where we're at. I want to try to pull that, this guy. So we, we go with, uh, oh wow. Why not play it first? Because he wants to play Ethereal. Uh, so we go Council first. No mercy. Ooh. I, I, I was hoping we could kill this or buff this. I thought it pulled a Dryad. This is oh, he's a human. Taskmaster. Okay. So he's bleeding, but Don't look to me for mercy. You shall find none. Do we get caught off guard here? We go Fav into tempering. No yes, they won't let us talk to strangers. Then that's our. We could still five. Use the five on it. I still think there's going to be a. Uh, what's it called? Maybe we needed to spend the ethne. He just wants to play last turn Osril. I thought this was the thing deck, but it's not. He just passes. All right, how do we get this the easiest? We go call. We need seven points. We might actually, I guess we go call. Well, no matter what, we gotta spend a leader charge. No, we just play this. This is seven, right? Kind of sucks, but. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. 
We still got oak charges. If he has the ethereal, we're in big trouble. We can draw. All right, so we have oak, so we can call into something else. We stop there. This is it. So we can buff Ethne, so we start out with. Yeah, because this only buffs a dryad. This is our only dryad. So we start out here. Then we play Ethne front row. So we save back row for Venosiel. We do have... Oh, we only have tempering. So if we could possibly use rebuke for this, that'd probably be best. So he is Karen Theer Ethereal. So we still go here. Is there any other way? No. So he gets the full bang on these. On both rows. So what are we calling into? I guess the half elf hunter back row. We do that next. Since we only have dryads and humans. So what's this? Okay, so then he plays the other one back row so that it constantly just goes. Yeah, this is worth more points. Man, we might not have enough room. <laughs> Again, this is crazy. Maybe we just play a front row Ver Vernaciel. Maybe he runs out of room. This is crazy. I think we play Vernacio front row. Because I don't think we're going to have room. So there's the bar heist. Man, this deck gets so many points. Eight. So we try to kill that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We just kill this. Maybe he kills something of ours. So we're going to have three. So he has the haunt. He gets the... He doesn't get the eat yet, though, so we can nature's rebuke. Oh, but he changes. I think he played that wrong. Didn't he want to eat there? Doesn't that make sense? I 
I'm confused. Oh, if he has rats, we get screwed, right? So we play this. My heart holds no forgiveness for traitors. We don't get any big targets for Yaven either. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're one over. Man, you get so many units on this. Just feels like you can't win round one, though. Where does he get his room from? And he's got to start playing Death Witch. Oh, okay. So we kill that once. Oh, he plays the Barg Heist anyways and eats it. Oh, well, see, I, I don't think he's playing this correctly. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me or what, but... So we go... One. And play Yaven. Hit this. Then we could play the Protector. Do we have a Dwarf? No. Yeah, no, we don't. Maybe he kills something? I think he's going to run out of room. Because these were jumping all over. Like, he lost... Detloff, that's five points. So, Goliath. Does he eat it? Yeah, he's out of room. Oh, not yet. So sixty six, seventy two. So we play, we play this, buff up something by five. I guess this. <laughs> he has no room and. So we play this, and he has the sweeper card. <laughs> Neither of us know how to play this deck. <laughs> oh man, good game. We'll try another one. <laughs> so we got to win round one, or we'll get. Nothing human. We'll get super screwed on this deck. It just goes so tall. Alright. Aloran for sure goes. Drop the tempering. Caress. Okay, so we go first. I think first we go abandoned girl. Flip it. Play, oh boy. So we play, the, oh, we gotta flip first. Find yourself your own it's a human. Do we get? We currently have no special. I guess we could play call, but do we want to play it that early? We're not winning this game. <laughs> uh, let's go with this. Flip this. We play one more. We. I guess we... Yeah, this is going to be rough. So we just try to get carry over. If he has the Yghern, 
we just lose. Oh, we got it out of him early. Cool. So how does he... he? That's not enough. It goes to 21. So we got two points of carryover. We're just going to have to play some big stuff. And hopefully we can get our... Hopefully we can keep our leader charges. So that's not too bad. I love this art. It's so good. Four strength oak critter. We want to boost the dwarf. I don't think the girl the girl's gonna be too slow. So we have the oak. Who are our dryads? Oh, so for sure it pulls Fav. That's good. Eager. Okay. So if we get caught off guard, we're in big trouble. We can Fav into Rebuke. Is it worth it? We don't even take any points off. Critters, he eats it. I guess we go back row. Cares for its children. As do I. I think he's gonna bleed the shit out of us. I think we go fog. I think we go fog. I think we go rebuke. I think we try to kill this. This goes up to a two now. We could play if we want to. We can use a leader charge and Yaven. Maybe he just passes. Council. We can get a hunter, which is okay. So he goes Nogglefar. What does he do? He boosts it. That's beautiful. Goes, oh, he just uses the charges. So it doesn't grow anymore. So if we play this, we go up to 19, 20, 21, that's not enough. Let's see what council gets us. We get a hunter. I think we go front row. We're starting to get a little wide in the back there. So it's the crone deck. If we can get this critter to go out, that'd be pretty good. 
So he wants to do the five damage. Oh, really? Wow. He knows that we don't have uh, poisons. Because <laughs> that's super dangerous there. So we're up four points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so he's going to take the six damage on the Ethne. That's fine. And then he's going to eat it and renew it. So this gets us there, right? Because he goes to 29. And then we go to 30. So he has the beast. He has a Renew Crone. We play this. We gain two. He gains one. You gotta spend a leader charge. Karen? Oh, yeah, okay. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many elves we got? Three, f so we hit for four. Gets, he gets it here, though. No, he doesn't. I know he doesn't. And we can kill it next turn, which is pretty decent. Does he go with the Osril? He passes. So we pass. We got the card on him. That's not too bad. So we still have Vernacio, Oak... And two leader charges. Critters, not very good turn one. Oh, where's our turn one play? We drop the tempering. We still have Alaran in the deck, we stop. We go all back row. Um, first we go Hunter. I guess if he has Werecat, that kind of sucks. I think we play the Miner next. This spawns three, so that's five, six, seven. Odd is fine. Okay, so we still go Miner. He'd have got that no matter what. Next we go Critter. Ah, oh, we could have took Dominance from him. He always has Dominance though, right? Yeah, he always has Dom. Oh, Queen. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. So I think we go Critter on that. And boost one of these up. Seems okay. So this is four, seven, eight, nine. Really, he wants that big boy like that. So he gets two of them. Do we save this for shenanigans? 
Probably, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got eight, nine, no matter what. Barg heist. Does he save the charge? So we eat that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we go here with it. Alright, he's got a big old crone. So he does it twice on the boost. So he goes 8, 10. So he goes up to 39. I think we got him, boys. <laughs> nice. Beating the crone deck. Very good. That was a good bleed. Hey, that's the video for today, guys. Like always, thank you so much for everything. Um, not sure on this list. You know, it, ST's in just a really weird spot. But um, I think if you're going to play it, I think this is how you play it, man. Um, it seems it seems okay. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, thank you so much for everything. We'll see you next time.